Let's take a look at Maple Hill, hole two. We'll start by noting that there is no drop zone on this hole, and there is an OB line that runs sort of underneath this wall on the right side of the fairway and is uh, very tight uh, up on the green. And that is the predominant challenge on this hole. There are some guardian trees right here, and there's a ditch and a little little brick wall that runs uh, perpendicular to this one. Uh, but all this stuff up here is anywhere from 80 to 100 feet from the uh, pin. So in real life, uh, can make it very challenging in the game, not so much. Uh, and the disc that I really like for this hole is the turn glide rive on a forehand. And I really like to keep my aim points out here to the left. Ideally, I'd like to get my drive, using the bottom Chevron as a pointer now, I'd like to get my drive to the left of this little wall right here. So in this gap right here, or even over here to the left, if you hit any of these trees, it usually drops down safely within about 80 to 90 feet from the basket, uh, which is not a huge thing in the game again. So uh, I'm going to, for this win, I'm going to put my middle chevron right at the end of that wall, pretty much. And even with that, I'm going to still send it out to the left with maybe a half a disc worth of Anheuser. I just really don't want to challenge the right side of the fairway. The reason being is that uh, in my practice runs, uh, there was a lot of times where I thought I was well safe out here to the left, and I wasn't far enough left apparently because I would hit something, the brick wall, another stone, something, and, uh, and it would fly to the right OB. Uh, so it's just the benefit of being that close to the basket doesn't begin to touch the risk of going OB here, uh, not in the game again. So, so I'm going to put my middle chevron at the end of this wall. I'm going to give it about a half disc worth of Anheuser and just try to stay out here to the left. That's going to hit the wall this time. And we're down in this ditch, um, which is probably pretty good because I want to point out something about this area here. But you can see the distance is not bad at all. But if we try to get a look at the slope, this green slopes down to this ditch, and it also slopes in this direction. So anytime you're you know, 70, 80 feet away, uh, you want to add at least probably 10 feet. And if you're down here in this ditch, you probably want to add a little more. So um, now, you know, this is taking me up in elevation, it appears. But I'm still going to add 10 feet to this. So instead of 76, I'm going to throw this 86, maybe 90 to round it off, something like this. And that just did clear the bottom tray, as you can see. So... Remember, you have to add distance to that basket unless you're really close. Um, otherwise, you're going to doink that lower tray and come up short. So there's probably some other discs that will work. You could use some turn skip drivers, but you risk going well past the basket with those. Uh, you could probably go with this, a strong wind out of the left. You could probably go backhand with the sapphire. Um, but if you have it, turn, glide, rive, uh, in my opinion, all day long. It's the first disc I think of when I'm looking at a tunnel shot. Uh, and this is basically a tunnel shot. So, And even, again, try to keep it out here to the left. Uh, it's just not worth challenging. Even this is, this is fine. I'm happy with that. Well, I went in the ditch again, so I wanted to show you where that would end up. <laughs> But, I mean, that ditch is not bad. But uh, let's go see if I can avoid the ditch this time. That's going to be nice. Well, 
that's probably one of those rocks that'll send you flying OB, but but as you can see, not bad, 62 feet. So uh, easy, easy day to the birdie there. So I'm not going to waste time throwing that in. So, uh, so yeah, so that's a um, quick look at uh, Maple Hill, hole two. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And we'll see you around the valley.